drugs acting on serotonin receptors. So we have five important types of serotonin receptors, 5-HT1A, 5-HT1B by 1D, 5-HT2A by 2C, 5-HT3 and 5-HT4. So if you can look at the top right of the screen, the extreme right receptors which is 5-HT1 and 5-HT4, the important drugs are all agonists and the receptors which are in the middle, 5-HT2 and 5-HT3, the drugs are all antagonists. So starting with 5-HT1A, so 5-HT1A, we have a single drug which is a partial agonist of 5-HT1A receptor. This drug is bispirone. If you look at the red letter words, it is O-N-E which is number one. So bispirone is a 5-HT1A agonist and this is used in the treatment of anxiety. Anxiety also has letter A and 5-HT1A also has letter A. Coming to 5-HT1B by 1D, we have agonist of these receptors. So we have all triptans which is sumatriptan, rizatriptan, naratriptan and zolmitriptan. So if you look at the red letters, there is trip, trips are always number one. So these drugs are 5-HT1B by 1D agonist and these are used in acute attack of migraine. Coming to the extreme right side which is 5-HT4 receptors. So we have again agonist of 5-HT4 receptors. We have cisapride, mosapride, renzapride and tegacerod. If you look at the red letters, they are all RD, RD. So these are used in a disorder which also has letters RD which is GERD, GERD. So they are used in gastroesophageal reflux disease as prokinetic drugs. Now coming to the receptors which are in the middle which is 2 and number 3. So we have all antagonists starting with 5-HT2A by 2C receptors. We have antagonists such as ketanserine, ritanserine, clozapine and risperidone. Now ketanserine and ritanserine are used in hypertension and clozapine and risperidone is used in psychosis. Coming to the most important group which is 5-HT3 receptors. So we have all antagonists here. These drugs are all cetrons. So we have ondensetron, granicetron and tropicetron. So this is very easy to remember. Cetron, S-E-T stands for serotonin, R stands for receptor, O-N stands for antagonist and the middle letters T-R stands for 3. So they are all 5-HT3 serotonin receptor antagonists. And cetrons we should not forget that they are used in the treatment of all forms of vomiting and they are the drug of choice in chemotherapy and radiotherapy induced vomiting. Now in the end, a few drugs which are non-selective in nature, which means that they act on serotonin receptors as well as a few other receptors. For example, we have ciproheptadine, which is an antagonist of 5-HT2A as well as antagonists of H1 and cholinergic receptors. And we have methicerzide, which is an antagonist of 5-HT2A by 2C, plus it is an agonist of 5-HT1 receptor. Thanks for watching and if you like the content, please share and subscribe to the channel so that you remain updated with the latest content.